All right, I'm recording. I'm recording too. All right, once more with feeling. With feeling. Acting! Hello, welcome to another adventure in letterpress. I am Sven Olaf Nelson, printer and designer at Pineapple Press and Design. Today is a little special as I'm working on a broadside for a poet, and I wanted to show you a little bit of the process and how I've created it. So Julie is a Toledo native and a poet who reached out to me to create a broadside of a poem she wrote called Glass City that will be hung in the Hilton's downtown Toledo. So April is National Poetry Month and Hilton's at downtown Toledo wanted to highlight local poets and artists uh, to kick off the month for poetry. Julie wanted some connection to Toledo visually represented on the page. So she wanted some way to connect it other than just the name Glass City. So I wanted to create a skyline using wood type. This is a colon, right? Um, that I cut off so I could use it as buildings. And then start layering in different shapes, trying to figure out where I can have colons and making buildings and you start getting a skyline going. Also, I wanted to tie it to the thought of glass and the way that light reflects off from glass and through glass. And so that I created this pattern and overlapped things so that it would make this cityscape mimic the way glass would look. Julie has this passion for a typeface called Nicola Koshin, which is a typeface that I actually didn't have in my shop. So I was able to source in antique lead type uh, the headline and the subtitle, which is 72 point and a 36 point. This is a typeface that's uh, a serif typeface. This is the 72 point stuff that I was able to find this the vintage. Uh, you can see this is a serif typeface. It's got a really low X height, which if you remember writing in elementary school, you had the three lines and the middle line is the X height. It's a really tall letter, but the descenders aren't too accentuated. The challenge became the 18 point for the body copy. I wasn't able to find antique stuff, but it kind of gave me a cool opportunity to have new lead type cast at 18 point. Uh, so that was a cool thing in this project that I've never done before, and I'm glad to carry that tradition of casting lead type. This is really shiny and brand new metal, which is really cool. This is from Swamp Press. There are some really cool features about it um, that look different than other typefaces. The A senders and D senders, I would say, are the biggest ones. The other cool thing is that this paper I actually had manufactured uh, to this size, um, and it's 100% cotton. It's handmade paper from Lincoln, Nebraska, um, in a company called Porridge Papers. Um, they crafted this for me. You can still see the raw edge on it. Again, because it was going to be shown on a wall, I wanted to set it apart from what you'd typically see, and I wanted to leave that rag edge on there. So poetry is kind of an interesting thing in that poets are thinking through the line lengths, the word counts, and the way that the edge of the lines all look and balance on the page. So that creates challenges of what's the paper size? Well, what's that do to a line length? What is the type size? On a computer, you can change things really quick, but everything's very physical in letterpress shop. Everything is a certain size, it's square. And so with letterpress, I have to mimic the way the poet has it in their mind on the page, which creates kind of in a weird way, like what's the poem look like? Um, versus what's the poem sound like. Last May, I found myself serendipitously at a ribbon cutting ceremony for the Hiltons at downtown Toledo, who came to me and said, we really would love to have a broadside of the poem in the lobby as a way to amplify the arts in Toledo. Are you in? Well, I mean, obviously I was thrilled, I was stoked, I was completely humbled, but I said, I could really only do it on one condition. And he said, what's that? I said, if the broadside is going to be printed, it has to be printed by a Toledo letterpress. And serendipitously, I find out about Sven Olaf Nelson, who is incredibly talented, and you'll get to see some of his work later tonight. I don't know, working with other artists is always a way to, like, I see Toledo in a certain way, and she saw Toledo in a certain way, and we're coming together to form this unified look of what it looks like on paper. 